Hey everybody, what's up? It's Infasort here for the Let's Play of the classic Half-Life from the great developers at Valve. We we'll also bring you Steam, and that's, well, I mean, in this day and age, that's pretty much just about it. Cause, I mean, well, okay, no, that's not true. Valve makes other good things too, but it's most notably for Steam. But the original Half-Life is what many consider to be like the... Well, I guess where it all started, I guess? I don't know. I, I played this game a bunch of times. I love it. I know it's a long game, so I thought I thought it was very fitting to play this game to replace, uh, well, for this slot, the main series. Like, because I have two of them, one each each other day. The other series, of, port, of course, being um, Aliens, Colonial Marines, because that's still going on at the time of this recording. But, yeah, this was to replace Alien Isolation. But anyway, Half-Life. Great game, love it. This is um, also should probably mention this is the Half Life Source. The um, it's the original game, but it's remade in the uh, or it's or it's upgraded to at least the Source engine, so it now it actually runs in 1080p. And there's some other functionality that makes it a little bit better. But it's the classic game. It's not uh, Black Mesa Source, which was a fan made of the original game, but they completely redid it using basically the kind of tech that Half Life Two uses. That's not what I'm going to be playing, and there's a couple reasons. One, I kind of, I kind of do like the nostalgia of the old classic feel, the original Half Life, and two, it's because I also want to play Blue Shift and Opposing Force in that order after I finish uh, Half Life. Mostly because I never actually finished Opposing Force. I got halfway through it and then forgot to finish it. You know, and here, here, this will actually force me to, you know, actually play. All of them. I I already beat Blue Shift though, so I'll, I played that once, and I'll play that in the in the Let's Play as well. But first, we gotta get through Half Life, the first game, which is a long ass game. I can't wait to get into it. Let's dive right in. Actually, let me just double check, make sure I have it on hard. Yep, hard mode. Enemies are very tough. Your weapons are less effective. Bring it on. Hopefully, it's uh no no. I beat it on hard before. Shouldn't be too ridiculous. Actually, yeah. Start new game. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Hey, buddy. Time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Forgot how much the lady in the PA system talks a lot, but... Oh, right, loading. But, um, yeah, there's a funny story with the guy back there, and it's actually all related to Blue Shift, which is great. Man, that's a long this load. <laughs> is inbound from level 3 dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. Ooh. If you were Intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C. You will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9. Actually, hold on one second. Audio is a little loud. I should have checked this stuff, but I forgot to do it. Let's just hold on. Let's turn this down just a tad. Although this is, uh, <laughs> you know, very, very, a high security train. very professional of me. Clearance system. You must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Hmm, sounds important. Don't think that applies to me though. Well, it might, but uh, oh, for what was I gonna say? Yeah, I the 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 audio levels are more for my benefit because sometimes it's too loud. I can't hear myself think because I always you know balance it out in the, the post effects. City of material routinely handled. The Black Mesa compound. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Aw, but I'm hungry. I want Please food. Keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Bleh, Do not to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. You can't even open if you want to. An emergency. Passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails 
and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. But definitely, yeah, the opening scene here to Half-Life is definitely well known because it's very it's very slow paced. It's literally on rails, but it kind of gives you a sense of the the scale of the facility. And that's what makes, you know, that's what makes it so so great, you know? Just like, okay, welcome to Black Mesa. It's a massive facility and very very secret, I guess. Well, it's supposed to be secret. It's supposed to be kept away from everybody. Cuz we do a lot of crazy things down here. Oh, and you close the door, okay, and then a load, naturally. It's hard to talk though with the PA system going on, it's like, but I want everyone to hear it in case they actually have not played this game. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. Mm. The semi-finals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Nope. Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. Can I ride that thing? That thing looks cool. Background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines. Please contact our civilian recruitment division. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity employer. Is it now? Do you have any proof of that, lady? Although I find I find it odd now that I'm doing this let's play at this time because it it mentioned Gordon Freeman who you're playing as his age is 27 that's how old I am but he's a PhD in theoretical physics and I work at restaurants <laughs> regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa research facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation check oh, is ground. There is the G-Man. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Yes. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. So yes, the G-Man, that man in the blue suit. You see him pop up from time to time. There's actually a, some, I don't know, something funky going on with that guy. Hey, let me out. I'm done with this little, this little tour ride, please. <laughs> tired, of, tired of this. I want to get out and move. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. No, I'm gonna stand right near the door. Exiting the train. Be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Uh, nope, you, nothing here. And have a very safe Morning, and Freeman. productive day. Looks like you're running late. Look, I'm running late because this tram system has to go through the safety protocols and going on the tram system. Oh, slow. Also, traffic was shit. You would not believe the day I've had today. Like, not believe it. Like, literally, you'd be like, no, Gordon Freeman, you're lying. No way that's true. Although, can you? Oh, you can actually hop off and die. That's funny. Yeah, let's just ruin the story. <laughs> oh, cr oh, you know what? I think I just ruined everything. Oh, thank God. Wait, actually, are there auto saves? I don't think I had that set up, but hmm. Uh, you know what? Because I remember actually doing that. Just like, oh, I'm gonna jump off the edge and see what happens. Oh, I died, and then it sent me back to the very beginning of the tram ride, and it went, oh no. Okay, but you can. There, the yeah, auto save, or there's my manual save. My bad. Thank God. Maybe that's something that Half-Life Source fixed up. Instead of the original Half Life. But it is nice having this game in 1080p and 60 FPS, although it's, you know, very old. I mean, it w I cannot imagine my machine not being able to handle it. That'd be a little ridiculous. Oh, do I do I go in? Okay, thanks, Gary. You were a good help. And then you can Okay, close the security door. 
Ethics can be important. Especially if they're about games media. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm gonna get a little smack for that. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Well, what were you doing? Data, I guess. They yeah. were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okay. Also, is it... I forget if you were actually allowed to... No, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? Sounds like something important that you would need there, buddy. Oh! Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Oh, okay. Oh, can I... Can I not press it again? Darn it. I thought there was a funny joke where, like, you look at the computer screen and it's like, man, I, I hate sometimes working here. And there's also that Gordon guy. He keeps looking at my screen when I'm not looking. Hey! <laughs> or something like that. Hey, stop what that. are you doing? Oh. Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I guess that's yes. enough. This all looks nominal. Yep. Funny, funny stuff, indeed. And it's like, yeah, it just plays like a... Again, I, I assume there might be some people here who've never actually seen Half-Life and have only some of the, you know, who will follow me on my uh, YouTube channel for this game, but have heard of Half-Life. And... Big day today, oh. Freeman. Yes, big day today, indeed, Mr. Clone Sample Scientist to the test 3. Really? Test... right. The sample to the test chamber. Good morning, Gordon. Jeez, they all sound very happy. But it's funny, yeah, there's only three models. You got Black Scientist, Old sci um, Einstein scientist and then bold scientist. Look, back then they didn't have a whole lot to work Why are you with. Asking me? Or my bad. No, sorry. There's four types. There's white guy scientist, black guy scientist, old guy white hair scientist. Oh, there's a G man with old scientist, and then there's bold scientist. There's supposed to be one around here somewhere. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's the, that's a health machine. It'll come in handy much later. Pretty sure I'm full health now, but I can't tell because I'm not wearing my ATV suit. Get that here in a second. Do do do. Oh, right. That's the one thing about the Half-Life games is that there's always loading gates, but they never show like a black screen. Well, okay, there's one instance where it does. But it's mostly just, you know, sections that are connected together. So eat the entire experience feels very... It all flows together. And here's the lunch break room. <laughs> Hello there. Where's my soda pop? Press... Yes, press all the buttons. And also... Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Oh, sorry. You were working on your casserole there. God, what are you doing? I'm, uh, oops. My bad. Sorry, I turned up to full power. I know how you like using power power level 5. Actually, that's a funny thing. I know microwaves have power levels on them. You can set, like, how strong it is. But who does anything other than full power, right? Because that's what... I mean, I mean, that's what, um... all have to wear these ridiculous ties. Because it's part of your dress code there, old scientist. Get to work. Um... It's like, because yeah, people have microwaves because they're trying to get, you know, their food heated up quickly. Not for any other reason. Oh. Yeah, look at that model for that air dryer. Sorry, not hair dryer. Hand, hand dryer. Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. But yeah, people heat things in a microwave. <laughs> oh yeah, right. There's... There... Um... Yeah, people heat things in a microwave because they want them to heat up fast. They're like, I'm going to a lower power level. What, are you insane? Anyway, time to get my suit. Actually, what happens if I don't hit the button? Is it behind... Oh, it is behind glass. Usually, you're just like, oh, I'm going to hit the button here because why not? Also, two of the other suits have been taken. Indeed. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Ooh. High impact reactive armor activating atmospheric contaminant sensors. Most of the simulation results are perfectly Vital acceptable, you know? Monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon selection system 
Indeed. Man, that, Jesus, I gotta turn that down just a, just a hair. Even more, even lower than that. That's actually kinda, I totally forgot about that. That music plays when you pick up the suit. I don't remember that always being the case though. That was something I guess maybe just introduced, um, in Half-Life Source, or maybe I didn't always play in a, um... I wonder if I should run that test again. Will you shut up? I'm trying. Can't be bothered right now. Well, shut up then. To be in the test chamber half an hour ago. <laughs> shut up. Thought I had my locker here. Oh, right here's Freeman. Oh. And this is cool. There's your like degree. I I assume that's a uh, a thermos, coffee cup, the thirty seventh mandala, the orchid eater, and I assume that's a picture of your baby son or daughter. Who knows? But yes. Parameters are still nominal. You get still nominal. Shut up. God damn. Will not shut the hell hell up. I'm trying to do a let's play here. It's hard to talk over these guys. Actually, I might want to turn that down even more. Cause sometimes I need I need to be able to talk over things. Sometimes. Not all the time. I understand it's important to for you guys to be able to hear things, but sometimes I have to be able to think. Oh yeah, there's the there's the casserole that exploded. <laughs> wait, was wait, was I not supposed to go this way? Oh no, wait, no, I don't think I was. Shoot. Cause you go up to Alright, there's the there's the G man, the administrator. Like, alright. <laughs> Yes. Pretty sure uh, you still can't go this way. I'm pretty sure. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Sorry, sir. I've got to stay at my post. Can we do this later? No. Hey, catch me later. I'll buy you a beer. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Okay, right. That that stuff all comes later. Not right now. Do 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 do. Let's go. At the very least, I mean, I, I uh, started doing the let's play here, the recording, because like, well, I need to do it soon. Because Alien Isolation ending is catching up to me pr quite quickly. Like, faster than I, than I anticipated. What am I supposed to go this way? So I'm like, well, I better just start recording and get right to it. So here I am. But now I'm like, okay, how far do I... Oh. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Yeah, I'm in the barrel today. Although, okay, here's where I forgot to go first. Like, if you come here without the uh, the, the HEV suit, the security guard's like, uh, I can't let you through without your HEV suit. Like, okay, then you gotta go back and then come back. But, um, what was I? I forget what I was saying. Do I, do I go through? Thank you. Ugh. Come on, loading. I forget. What was I saying? I was saying something. It might have been profound, but it might not have been. Let's play and then doing it now. Half life. Okay, well, it'll come to me. Black Mesa. And safety. Block Mesa Security Force. Blah, blah, blah. I still can't read that. If you can manage the... I, I can't read that. Hydroelectric Dam. Yeah, what does that damn thing say? I don't know. Also, wait a minute. Why is one side of that dam completely dry? There'd be at least water on one side. So on both sides. Yeah, you, you could totally... Man, you cannot read that. Damn. Or this. Like, it's way too damn blurry. Uh, the game may be running at 1080p, but those resolutions on those images, very low. Uh, technology! Technology is great. You should get it. It's always good. Especially when it makes four-legged anti-radioactive um, material machines. And also working as a team. Because together, everyone achieves more. Then helicopter... Text I can't read. What's the other slide on here? Oh, the tram system, where you can listen to boring safety instructions for minutes on end. Oh, right, okay, that's what I was trying to say. I it jogged my memory somehow. Yeah, I was like, how far do I want to go for the first recording? I at least gotta get somewhere. Probably, probably just a little bit after the initial. 
you know, the after the, the the prologue is over. Oh wait a minute! Are you actually allowed to go down the ladder here? You are. I did not know that, but it's just it's nothing down here. Okay. And you can, yeah, I love that about this old game. It's like climbing down is slow, but going up, you're like, wee, full speed. Like that makes no sense. Are you running those tunneling ladders calculations again. Also, yeah, yeah, there's the there's the other scientist type. Just notice it now. Control room, test lab access, plasma cells, ionization, ionization, ionization chambers. Why was I having such a hard time reading that? Ooh, caution, laser. Laser, now it comes in a tube. <laughs> Actually, it's probably just big for protection, and there's like, there's probably like a mirror right on that edge, and a mirror right over here. But you think they would just keep that inside the wall? I don't know, maybe for security reasons. Ooh, security clearance, level three. Can I get through? Hey, catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. Okay. Apparently, I have level three clearance. Supposedly. Ooh. Fancy. Oh, wait. What line did we just lose? Yeah, it's, it had three colored lines, and now there's... Oh, the, okay. Hold on. Ionization. Okay. So these are ionization chambers. The thing I can't damn pronounce. Too many... Too many vowels. That's what's wrong. Control room. Welcome to the control room. We got lots of buttons. Learn to live like a scientist or something. I don't know. Hello. Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Look, I came here as quick as I could, and yes, I agree. We could use more resolution for this game, especially... Did you see those uh, rotating messages back there in the uh, the lobby? Yeah, horrible. Needs more resolution, man. You should probably talk with the administrator about that. Getting kind of ridiculous. Ooh, fancy. You guys run a... Cri what are you doing? Wow, this guy is either glitched out, or he's practicing some insane level of yoga. I think that's what's going on here. That's... I've never seen that before. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Ooh. Ah, it's good to see you. Quick. It's about to go critical. Oh, no. What are you... What hell is going on with our What are you... What kind of crap are you guys running here? In the first place. Ah. <sighs> Look at that mess. You guys gotta fix this up before the administrator gets here. Or you're gonna be in big trouble. Ooh, caution. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean, don't be ridiculous? Look, I'm going down into a highly dangerous test chamber. Something better not go wrong. Otherwise, we might have a really good game on our hands. Ooh. Hello. Okay, I guess you can't interact with him. <laughs> I'm getting everybody's way. Do, 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 do. Test lab C 33A. Sure. Let's let's get in there. Come on. Quit your loading. Here we go. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Oh, not again. But with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained... Well, look, look at that guy's neck. <laughs> He's assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. No, you don't. Okay. Go ahead. Let's let him in now. Oh, that was funny. It's like, yeah, um, standard insertion procedure. Don't worry, I can hit the W key pretty damn good. Or, in my case, the up arrow key. I'm trying to be inclusive here, because I realize most people do use WASD. Let's see here. Look at this crazy device. Ooh. What kind of fancy equipment you got? Actually. Testing. Oh. Testing. Oh, you can't actually fall down? Seems to be in 
<laughs> Ooh. No, it's too tight. This suit is awful. Why don't you do it? Why do I gotta do everything? Look, I'm just sitting here. I'm just trying to look fancy while I hop around this this fun test chamber. Woohoo! Look at me fly around! Alright, fine. I'll go hit that stupid button. <sighs> Yes, I'm working on it. Actually, wait, does he see anything else? I've never... Because usually you just go right towards it. I'm going to give him a chance to say one more funny thing. It's like, sorry, I couldn't hear that. What did you say? Turn on the boaters? Sorry, there's no boaters in here. Look at that. That's cool. I don't think he's going to say anything else. Well, he might. Just maybe give him a little more time. It's like, how how far ahead did Valve think? Like, okay, what if the player really doesn't get it? That they're supposed to go up a ladder and then hit a uh, little button. Alright, fine. Guess we're going. Here we go. Spin the rotor. Whatever that thing is. Climb down safely. Because you can't just jump down, but then you take fall damage, and that's no good. Oh. What was that? We'll take it from here. Ooh. Actually, do you get killed if you hop through here? I'm not sure. Oh, you do. Ow, that hurts. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Let's not do that. Okay. Yeah. I gotcha. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. That was weird. Did my field of view just jump? No? Okay. Wait a minute. What does 75 even look like? Ah, that's awful. Ugh, yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> not gonna... Let's not do that. Put that back up to full power. Okay. Stage two emitters activating now. Zzzzt. Laser beam. Gordon, we oh. cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. What if I don't want to? I don't get paid enough to work fast enough, okay? I'm, I mean, I may have a PhD in. Probably not oh. a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in. Well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds. Again. No, that, that happens every time in these things. Like, well, no. That the sample is ready, Gordon. It oh. should be coming up to you any moment now. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. That is the fanciest, or not so fanciest, delivery system I've ever seen. It's just a little, it's a wheel cart with a gripper on it. That's about it. But it's like that always happens in these uh, sort of science related like movies where something goes wrong. It's like, oh, oh, oh that's odd. Oh no, wait, no. Oh, oh, slump, slump it into the carrier. I'm pretty sure that's scientific jargon. That was ominous, but yeah, slump, that's not science talk, that's a bunch of, like, third grade that you should slump it in there, or whatever. But no, seriously, it's like, all the time, you know, it's well within standard operating procedures, like, no, that's the first- I cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. No, I didn't really, okay, wow, that was repeating itself. I have never actually just kind of stalled in here, I don't think many people have. But I like exploring, and I like seeing how far they went. With this sort of stuff, but yeah, no. If you the oper standard operating procedures, no, that's the first step to having a major catastrophe happen. That's why we have these things called. Oh, something changed. That's not right. We should probably. For a we should probably stop this before something awful happens. All right, I'll slump it into the stupid thing. God, I'm gonna paid enough for this crap. I what the whatever screw it. Gordon, get away from the down. No, I'm gonna get close. Oh, Actually, ah. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! 
See, I told you it was something bad was gonna happen. God damn it. Actually, can I pull this away? Don't think I can. No. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Heavy breathing. That's not me, by the way. <laughs> Oh shit. What the hell? Hello there. Who are you? Ah. Ooh, ah. Uh oh. <laughs> Bad stuff, guys. Bad stuff is happening. Several hours later. Unforeseen consequences. Oh! Look at the mess they made! God damn it! You assholes! I told you this would happen, but no! Nobody listens to Gordon Freeman! He's just, just a stupid PhD in theoretical physics asshole who we, who we tell her to push a button and push a little cart into. Sorry, not push, slump. Slump it into a little receptacle. Well, I've had it. That's it, I quit! I'm out of here! You guys are on your own. You can do your own pushing and shit on your own.